Hello there and welcome to the screencast where we're going to work through an example of an application of the net change theorem. So here's the problem. We have cars that are passing through a very busy interchange and the rate at which those cars pass through the interchange is given by this function a of t which is 4500 plus 1500t minus 300t squared. That a of t is measured in cars per hour and t is measured in hours in such a way that t equals zero corresponds to four o'clock in the afternoon. And the question is how many cars pass through this interchange between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. So first of all, realize this is a classic setup for an integral. And when an integral problem, remember, it's like starting with a velocity and ending up with a distance traveled. So here we're starting with a velocity, a, a, a rate of change here. We're given a rate of change in cars per hour, and that's what this function tells us. And we're being asked for a total change, how many cars pass through between 4 and 6. If the situation were reversed and we were given a quantity and we were asked to find its rate of change, that would be a derivative question. But here, since we're given the rate of change and asked to find a total change in the quantity or a net change in the quantity, that is going to be an integration problem. So that's why we're going to select integrals for our tool here. And the correct tool for the job here is the net change theorem, which in sort of a paraphrased form would say that the total change in the amount of cars that are passing through this interchange is the integral of the rate of change in that traffic flow. And that's true for any uh, function whatsoever. The net change theorem says that the total change in a function from a point A to a point B is given by the definite integral from A to B of the derivative of that function. So again, we're set up here for the net change theorem because we're given the derivative a rate of change in the number of cars in the interchange and we're asked to find a total change in that. So let's work with this and set up what the net change theorem would say. The total change in the number of cars that go through the interchange is going to be the integral of the rate of change. I'm drawing the integral sign here and I'm gonna put the expression that I know represents the rate of change. 4500 plus 1500 t minus 300t squared. I know this is a rate of change because over on the uh, problem data, it says the cars are passing through at a rate of, and that word rate of course is huge, and so this is telling me a rate of change as measured in cars per hour. I'm gonna to need to put a dt here, and now what are the limits of integration? Well, let's look back at the problem data again, and it says how many cars pass through the interchange between the hours of four o'clock and six o'clock? So I'm given a time interval here. However, I don't wanna just go over and put up four and six on my integral. I have to be a little nuanced with this and read the problem carefully. It says T is measured in hours and T equals zero is 4 p.m. This especially is important. So the time on the clock is from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. But the limits of integration I'm gonna to wanna to use are from zero to two. And now that's my integral that I want to compute. This is not gonna be a very hard integral because we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus to help us out. So let's now compute this definite integral and see just how many cars do pass through this intersection. So we're gonna use the fundamental theorem of calculus to compute this exactly. And remember the fundamental theorem basically gives us a, a multi-step process. First of all, I need an antiderivative of the integrand. I need an antiderivative and I'll need to think about that. Let's call that antiderivative S. Then I'm going to have to, once I find that antiderivative S, I'm gonna calculate S of two, I'm gonna calculate S of zero, and then I'm going to find the difference between S of two and S of zero. So step number two here is obviously very easy. It's step number one that we have to do a little bit of thinking. Let's go over here and start that thinking process. So what's gonna be an antiderivative for this function here? Well, I can simply think about this using the reverse power function rule that we've seen in the section. So S of t here, the, an antiderivative for 4500 would just be 4500 t. An antiderivative for 1500 t, I'm going to raise the exponent up on t and then divide by two, so that will give me 750. 
and then finally an antiderivative for, there's a minus sign there I'm gonna preserve, the, an antiderivative for 300t squared, I'm gonna raise the exponent from two to three and then divide by three, and that would give me 100t cubed. And it's probably a good idea on your own to pause the video for a moment and just stop and verify that s prime actually does give you uh, this function that's in the integrand, and it does. So now we're all set up to calculate this integral. Let's do that right here. So this is gonna be equal to, I'm gonna take my s of t and put in s of two, or calculate s of two, and then calculate s of zero and subtract. s of two is going to be simply 4,500 times two, plus 750 times two squared, which is four minus 100 two squared, two cubed, sorry, which is eight. And I'm gonna subtract off s of zero. But notice uh, in s, every term in s of t has a t on it, so this is gonna be zero plus zero minus zero. Of course, the whole thing is gonna to go to zero. And now it's just arithmetic from here on out. This is 95, or 9,000, sorry, two times 4,500, plus 3,000, which is 750 times four, minus 800, and you do the math on this and you get 11,200, and the units on this are in cars, okay? The reason that the units are in cars is because you can actually look up in the uh, integral itself and see this integrand's units are in cars per hour, if you recall that from the problem data and dt has the same units as t does, and that's in hours. So if I multiply cars per hour times hours, I'm going to get cars. So this really does have the look and feel of a total change, and that's what it is. So this integral tells us that through this intersection between four and six p.m., 11,200 cars have passed. Thanks for watching.